Hello guys, today let's talk about pagination and specifically about pagination when deleting the records. I've noticed on Gmail, for example, I had a label filtered with 101 emails and I've deleted the 101st one and where to redirect to after the deleting, to the second page or to the first page and how do people implement that. So in this video, I will show you three ways, the worst, the better and the best. Let's take a look at this example. So we have 48 results of user list or whatever list in the table and we delete this one. What should happen after the delete? Should it redirect to the index? So the same table or index with page and how to calculate that page. In the code in the index blade, we have just form action to delete the user destroy. So nothing really fancy here. Under the hood, it's using pagination with users links down below. In the controller, we have destroy method, which just does this. Delete the record and then redirect where. So the worst way, as I said, is just to redirect to the list without any parameters, without saving the page, without anything. So if I just click here and confirm, I'm redirected to the first page. And then if I want to delete the 47th record, I need to go back and click the pagination again to land on the page number four. Not a great user experience, right? So a bit better way is to have the hidden parameter of page and Laravel paginator has this current page, which you can access here and you can pass that as a parameter to the same form. And then we have that page available for us here as part of the request. So we can do route user index with the parameter of page request page like this. Let's try it out. So we delete the record. Okay and we'll land on the same page number four. So that's, as I said, a better way. But a step further, as I mentioned my Gmail example, if I delete this record, number 46, then there will be 45 records left, so three pages. And if I redirect back to the page number four, it would be empty. So let's try it out and I will show it to you. We delete and confirm. And now we redirect to page number four, which shows zero out of 45 results which is kind of incorrect and then what to do next, the user could be quite confused to be honest. A better way is this, I've pasted the code from my notes, we can calculate where to redirect the page number. For that, we will still use the paginator, kind of artificially use that in the destroy method, although we don't need to actually show the pagination visually, but we can use the paginate to minimize the amount of data we paginate only by ID columns. And then we checked if our request page is less or equal to the last page, which is another property of the paginator, then we leave it as it is. Otherwise, we return the last page. In our case, it would be last page three, request page will be four. So this option would be return, which would be passed to here. So now if we click, I've added one more testing record. So number 46, we click this one and we're redirected to the page number three. I guess this is the best user experience for this example. Any other tips that you have for pagination? Maybe you would solve that thing more elegantly. Shoot in the comments below and let's discuss your ideas. So this is the quick tip about pagination. So this channel is full of quick tips in five minute videos. And if you want to go in depth on some topic, I have much more in depth tutorials and courses on my laraveldaily.com. So for example, in premium tutorials, which are all at least 1000 words or more, you can find these ones. So stuff about searching in multiple models, filament plugins, UUIDs, value objects, eloquent optimizations, and more. So this is available for premium subscribers to laravildaily.com. Subscribe to that and see you guys in other videos.